A few weeks ago, I had probably one of the worst days of my life when I came out to our workshop and found it on fire. And in a matter of minutes, the entire space was burned pretty much to the ground. Um, was very devastating to watch it happen and um, for the past year I've been working on moving into a new workspace that allows us to be, customize it for a lot of the v wide variety of projects that we do. Um, and I've done a lot of just manual labor over the past year trying to get it ready and set for that. Um, and Safety is always a major concern. We do a lot of hot work with blacksmithing, ceramics, and glass blowing. Uh, so I'm always very cautious about the dangers of something getting too hot and running away, which is kind of frustrating, I guess, because none of that type of work had we done for the past week or so. Um, and not really clear what exactly started the fire at this point. Uh, so we do have insurance and it's in a very long and slow process of investigating and figuring out what was in there and what's going to be covered and what's not. Some things are a little up in the air on the actual structure itself. It's unclear if that'll be covered. A lot of equipment sounds like it will, minus obvious deductibles and everything. Um, so needless to say, it's going to kind of be a major blow, both financially and just, uh, just a blow to the stomach, I guess. Uh, there's a lot of work went into both the space and then all the tools and projects we had made, upcoming projects that were still in there, projects we wanted to keep working on, all are potentially lost. At this point, insurance is still in the process and investigating things or wants to be able to investigate so I can't actually go in there. Um, so at this point, there's uh, unclear what actually survived. Um, there's a lot of Projects, a lot of our more primitive projects likely survived because they're made out of iron and bronze that would should have survived. Um, so we'll probably do a follow-up video once we get the all clear to enter it to see what we can salvage. Um, kind of a part of this series makes you really appreciate everything that uh, goes into making things. So I think um, a big thing is going to be trying to see what we can salvage, um, see what we can restore. I think a lot of the iron stuff is fine, just needs to be refinished. Um, some electronics are probably toast, but we can see what we can salvage and see uh, what, what all can be recovered from a catastrophic failure like this. So this leaves things a little unclear about the future, um, but I'm hoping it can be used as an opportunity to build something even better and to even incorporate into the channel as uh, a series where we can explore the building process of rebuilding our studio space. Um, the plan right now is to try and rebuild everything. Not exactly clear how much money we're gonna get from insurance, if anything, to rebuild. Um, so we're gonna put together a, a, a GoFundMe if anybody wants to donate to help us in the rebuilding process. I'm gonna try and turn it into uh, an ongoing video series where we explore kind of how to make buildings and everything. Um, and uh, kind of the more money we're able to get, the bigger a building we can build and that opens the door for bigger and better projects um so if you're interested check out that um so we had a lot of stuff that wasn't in here it was in storage and other locations um so we have a lot of old projects i'm gonna look into potentially doing an auction to sell off some of these old projects to help raise some additional funds um so there'll be more information about that in the future um and uh, since a lot of our projects and some of our equipment are now destroyed and need to be eventually replaced um, and we are lacking in um, the actual workspace to do blacksmithing and other things. Uh, some of our upcoming videos are going to be a little different. Some of them are just gone in flames. Um, some will have to be kind of um, scaled back and uh, some projects probably just have to cancel for the time being. Um, so content might be a little bit more sparse for the next few months as we figure things out and uh, yeah if you want to help us kind of make it through the next few months it's probably gonna be a little bit of a challenge financially um, feel free to donate to our patreon and uh, support us there really disheartening um, it's a lot of work went into trying to turn this into something 
to have it all just go up in flames. Um, but I'm hoping things will work out for the best and uh, just want to let everybody know what's happening and why things are going to be a little different for a little while. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and uh, thanks for everybody's support.